Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel, and today we have got a silver hybrid for you guys. Bit of a change, considering I've been doing so, so many gold teams, but I thought I'd give a silver one a try. It's got a bronze player in, just for chemistry reasons, because I literally couldn't make the team that I wanted to. It's basically around the inform Naki Wells, and it's so difficult to get him into a hybrid, like an interesting team that you guys would really like. So I've really tried my hardest, I've had to get a bronze, but it's not a problem because he's absolutely insane. 76 heading for a bronze card with medium, medium work rates and solid pace. That's incredible, so don't worry about that. But before we do get started, if you're looking for a fantastically cheap and reliable place to get some FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Coins from, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a really great website. And if you use the code TOBY10, you get a discount at the checkout to make your coins even cheaper, which is always nice. Now. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'll talk a little bit more about the gameplay, but you know how much I've despised silver teams in the past. I really don't seem to be able to use them, and that's pretty much why I've been doing so many gold squad builders here on my channel, so I'm really, really sorry, but for some reason, I just don't get along with them, and I think the reason is just my opponents, like the people that I come up against, they seem to have a really different playstyle to the people that use gold teams, and I find that so, so weird. I don't know if you guys find it at all, but I can't pace abuse, which I find really weird. Now, this team is so, so fast. I think the average pace is like 83, and the front five has a ridiculous pace, like our right mid, left mid, right forward, left forward, and our striker. It's unbelievable, but for some reason, I just can't play with pace. Like, I'd be more suited to playing with someone like Lucina Traore, who's pretty sluggish, and I'd probably score more goals than I would with the informed Naki Wells, which I find ridiculous, because I should be able to easily score with someone that has 91 pace, but I thought I'd show you this team, simply because I reckon some of you might really, really like it. Like, if you're good at a certain playstyle, I reckon this team will be absolutely phenomenal for you. So I thought I'd show you it. Someone also commented on my last video because I mentioned that I didn't do a squad builder. And someone said, why don't you show us the squad builders that don't do so well instead of just the perfect ones, the ones that are absolutely awesome, which is what I usually do. Like I usually make a team, try it out for a lot of games, give it a run for its money. And if it's good, I will definitely, definitely show you it. And if it's pretty bad, I probably won't and I might end up skipping a video, which is what happened yesterday, which is why there wasn't a video yesterday. But as you can see on the screen, we've got the chemistry stars that I've applied. Hunter on Nakios, I have no idea why I need more pace. We've got Deadeye on Humphrey, Artist on Sacco, and then we've got a load of others on the other players as well. And I think that's the best setup, to be honest. Our midfield is quite decent. So on Austin, we've got a kind of passing focus, but on Vuemba, we've got a really defending kind of focus. So it's worked well, and it was strange. Now, I'm not a big fan of the formation. I'm really not. It didn't work perfectly for me, and it only seemed to allow counter-attacks. It's all I seem to score, and I don't really like that, and it's just not my playstyle. Like, I like to dribble around players and pass through players and open up opportunities for myself instead of having to rely on my opponent attacking me, which could often lead to goals, which is not what we want at all and then having to counter, it just, it didn't fit what I like to do, but some people, it may work absolutely perfect for you, and I wanted to show you this team, just so I've actually done a Silver Squad Builder in a little while, because it's been so, so long, so on paper, it looks really good, and like I said, it's so, so fast, like, Humphrey and Naki Wells are incredibly fast, it's ridiculous, like, it's almost unfair, and Mvoto, he actually scored, like, most of my goals. He was so good in the air. Like I said, that 76 heading on him, it's unbelievable for a bronze card. It really is. I just, I can't stress how good he actually is. But it was weird. It was a really strange team, and I generally didn't enjoy it. It felt quite clunky. The players, whilst they were quick, they had a touch and a shot that was absolutely dreadful. Like Nakuels, other than that goal and the first goal we saw, that's all he scored. He literally scored two goals in the seven games that I played with him and it was so so sloppy and I didn't like it but one of you at least might do or some of you might so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 that's the lowest rating 
I've ever given a squad. And I usually don't show these sorts of teams, but I think someone might like it. I think it's just my playstyle that really ruined this team for me. Perhaps the formation as well, but it's around 100,000 coins. Very, very quick, and you might enjoy it. Now, subscribe if you haven't already for some more videos. Drop the video a like, but thank you so much for watching. Take care, have an amazing day, and goodbye.